Hey there, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to consist of me explaining where you can actually find analog camcorder batteries. Now, I think a lot of people out there probably are at the assumption that analog camcorder batteries don't actually get produced anymore. And that's actually where you're wrong. So today I'm going to be helping you find where you can get analog camcorder batteries. Right off the bat, um, you can actually find most of your, well generally all of the all camcorder batteries um, on Amazon. The cameras that I'll be talking about today, um, I will have some links in the, the description. If you have a camera that I am talking about or of that style, you can shop through those links and snacks and batteries for yourself if you need them. So for this video, we're gonna be talking about VHS, VHSC, Hi8, and mini DV camcorders. Now we're not gonna be talking about you know the wide spectrum of brands that made all those cameras back in the day, but generally I'm gonna be talking about the ones that I have personally used and owned currently and have before. So because those are the ones that I know the most about. We're gonna start off with VHS camcorders. A lot of the VHS camcorders either had a battery style that went in the back here like this and it just slid down into it or they had ones that had a little compartment here in the back here it had a little door that was kind of spring loaded that stayed closed and it was a long stick battery and it would actually slide into the camera and that's how those batteries um, were made. So generally you'll have those two types of batteries in most camcorders or uh, with most VHS camcorders. Now maybe the very very early day ones were a little bit different but from all the ones that I have played around with and have used, they have all had either this style or the one that slides into the camera through the back. So if you go onto Amazon or shop through the links, um, you can generally find, um, if you just type in VHS camcorder batteries, it'll come up with um, this style and the long stick style that slides in as well. So if you have an old video camera, from the 80s and 90s, that's VHS. And maybe you bought yourself a converter because you have a lot of old home movies that you want to get off of your old VHS tapes. Well, you can find um, new batteries that have never been used before on Amazon. And uh, if you have a battery that doesn't work or doesn't take a charge anymore, that is a great way for you to bring some life back into this old piece of technology. These are actually really fun to use, and so that is where you can find those. If you have any questions about VHS camcorder batteries, leave me a comment in the description, and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. That's generally the information that you really need. Um, yeah, you can pretty much find them on Amazon, and they're not very expensive. Definitely go pick yourself one up if you need it. So next up, we're gonna talk about VHS-C. Now, if you don't know what VHS-C stands for, it's Compact VHS. Why they have the C come after and it's called Compact VHS, I don't know. But it is VHS just in a smaller tape. That way they were able to produce smaller camcorders. These batteries are actually probably some of the most abundant ones that I can actually find. You can find these pretty much anywhere. And these batteries just don't die. Well, they do die, but it does take a long time. This is pretty much what they all will look like. They will all have uh, a bit of a variety of different uh, sizes, but this is what it will look like. So back in the day when VHS-C was made, they also had Hi8. Now, Sony was pretty much the main company that made Hi8. They didn't actually make camcorders in VHS-C from what I have found. So the Hi8 Sony cameras and VHS-C cameras, so JVC, uh, Panasonic, um, Hitachi, uh, uh, Sharp, um, you can name off a whole bunch of different companies that used VHS-C. Uh, RCA used VHS-C. So they actually shared the same exact battery. They use the exact same batteries, but what's cool about some batteries is if you have the double-sided ones, 
you can use the same battery for VHSC and you can use it for Hi8. You just have to flip it over for Hi8. You have the two connectors that are close together. You want those on the bottom for Hi8 and then you'd flip it over for VHSC. So I will leave a link in the description for one of these batteries. That way, if you have a VHSC camera and you have a Hi8 camera, you can use the same battery for both of the cameras. <clears throat> it's actually a really cool innovation. And if anybody out there needs chargers for their batteries, um, I will leave those in the description as well because I just want to help everybody out there get into old school camcorders and just have a good time with them because they are just so fun to film with. So that is pretty much all you need to know about VHSC and Hi8. But another thing with Hi8, so the more modern Hi8 camcorders, um, I guess the the newer versions before Hi8 became more obsolete. Um, Sony did start making their own uh, batteries for their high suit or was it super high eight? I think it was um, that was for like the uh, TRV models and I do believe the uh, CRD models I think they used the same batteries so you can find those on Amazon as well I'm not gonna link those because I'm not 100% sure so if you have a TRV model or a CRD model of a Sony super high eight camcorder just go ahead and uh, search for whatever model camcorder you have and then search for batteries now i will move on to mini dv the mini dv batteries that i'm going to be talking about is canon mini dv batteries specifically the batteries that work with the canon gl1 gl2 XL1 and XL2, which is these two cameras right here. The batteries that I have right now are actually used, but you can actually still find these on Amazon. They come in different sizes as well, different um, battery capacities. This is a extra capacity battery. This one will last a lot longer than the standard ones that the cameras came with. If you own a Canon GL1, GL2, XL1 or XL2, they all take the exact same batteries. I will leave a link for these batteries as well in the description for you to go and pick up for yourself if your Canon cameras do not hold a charge on the batteries. And so that is pretty much all you need to know for the cameras and batteries where you should uh, be able to pick them up at. Now, of course, you don't have to shop through the links that I post. You can search up on Amazon or just go into Google and find where you want them as well. But I figured that I would make it a little bit easier for you to find where the batteries are and just put some links out there for you to shop through and help you out in that way. If you have any of these kind of cameras and you need batteries for it, there are abundance of brand new batteries out there. It will bring your camera right back to life as long as there's no other problems with it. Like I said before, I will leave a I will leave links to the battery chargers as well. And before we wrap up this video, I would like to let you know that I have a eBay store um, open. I'll leave a link to that as well if you want to go check out um, a couple of my used cameras I have for sale. Um, one of them is the RCA CC314. And another one is a mini DV camera I did a review on. It's a Panasonic mini DV camera. I'll leave a link to the review up here if you want to go check that out. That way you know what the camera is all about and uh, you can pick that up for yourself if you want to and just go check out what I have for sale. I don't have a lot yet but um, I definitely am slowly but surely building a little store on there for anybody out there that wants to check it out. So Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped you out at all. And if you have any questions um, about any of these batteries or where you can find them, or if you need help with anything, just let me know. I'll do my best to, to help anybody out there. Thank you guys for watching. If it was helpful, like the video. And if you like the content, make sure you subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll let you get on with your day. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.